Jeg er ikke en Hello, Sophie here and today I'm at the border in Guildford with the exits. How are you all? Hello, fine, thank you. Good. Good. How are you bearing with the cold weather? I think, I don't know, how are you doing? You're English. I'm alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm preparing myself for the north, which is going to be much worse. So, uh, thermal socks and all that. Yeah. Vests, mm -hmm. long johns. How is it in the van? Is it really chilly in there? Or? I think it's alright up front where you guys are. Yeah, in the, the back. back is a frozen wasteland apparently. Me and Ellie are coasting, <laughs> coasting with that. That in car heat and you glance back and it is so it's pretty cool it's more the guys. feet than anything yeah. it's kind of the lower half the top half is okay and we've got we've got a new van and we've got this little heater and <laughs> we're like oh that's going to solve all our problems yeah, it doesn't really give off any heat at all it's kind of like being uh, <laughs> just breathed on yeah <laughs> <laughs> mm, nice just, yeah <laughs> It is, it is, it <laughs> makes a it's sound. Accurate. Like a small head bolted to the wall of the van, you hit the on button. <sighs> That's it. No, it's, it's all less going. power. Less power. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather that than a sweaty van in summer, though? Which is worse? Mm. They're both rubbish. Something we in the middle. We just in the middle. Doesn't matter what it's like. Unless it's perfectly temperate, yeah. we're going to complain. September, yeah. end of September. Oh, lovely. Lovely, <laughs> one day you'll have one of those plush tour vans though, won't you? Yeah. With like all the gadgets and everything, you'll be fine. I'm sure we'll find something to complain about. Them. Uh, you tend to be quite moany then. Well, There's a trend well, here. Vans <laughs> in general are, I mean, we've got friends that turn buses and they moan. They moan, <laughs> they moan when the power in their buses doesn't work and they can't charge their laptop, you know. You'll, oh, disaster. It's a bastard, that, you know, which must yeah. be really annoying. I remember <laughs> we, were at, we were at Leeds Festival and our friend was teching for a two-door cinema club and he showed me on the bus, and fair, fair enough, I have seen kind of more fancier buses, but it was still incredible. Mm. He was like, this bus is so shit. It's like, how can you say that to me, knowing... Oh, how lucky you are. Yeah, exactly, yeah. you know, there's, there's beds. There's still a hierarchy. <laughs> it's amazing. There's a hierarchy as well, because we can complain, and then the support band for us roll up in the LDV or the Nissan Micra oh, bless with it. snare drums up their arses. Like, oh. I got bloody good heat complaining, <laughs> aren't you? Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's not as glam as it seems, is it? Like the not touring winter, lifestyle. Not in winter, anyway. No. No. At least, like, yeah, if it's summer, you can kind of kick about outside. And I think this summer we had like a ball with us at all times, like a rugby ball or a football, just to mm. do something. You can do that in summer evenings, but in the cold, it's kind of I don't know. It's cold everywhere in venues. Yeah. yeah. For some strange reason, venues in winter, their heating just doesn't work. <laughs> like so I think, it? yeah, I don't know. It's just a rule, I think. Yeah. The pipes froze here like half an hour ago. We had the promoter climbing out on the window with hot rags, <laughs> trying to <laughs> <laughs> right, thaw us out. Like. At least here they've got great noodles. Have you tried them yet? Fantastic. Yeah, we all just ate. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Talking about touring, you've been on tour with the Get Up Kids, the Futures, Blood Red Shoes, I think, as well. Yeah. So what was the highlight for you? Because they're all pretty good names, aren't they? Blood Red Shoes was a lot of fun because they took us out to Europe. So it was our first time on mainland Europe. And uh, that was great. That was just a lot of fun. Mm, driving on the other so side fun. of the road, <laughs> all that stuff. Yeah, it was great. Mm. Futures tour was also really fun. I don't know. I, I mean, the, the best. I mean, the best. I think the best tour overall has been Idlewild. Yeah. I think for many reasons. One being they're our favorite band. <laughs> yet they were the most courteous band we've ever oh, toured really? with, which is you know incredible. So, so yeah. Uh, getting to watch them every night for free as well was a bonus. You never know what to do. You're so prepared for all of your heroes to be assholes in real yeah. life, you know, because you, you don't want to be let down. So when you're really, really proved wrong by a band that you love that are really nice and courteous and, you know, just cool people, mm -hmm. it's it's just so overwhelming and shocking that you regress to that 14-year-old fanboy kid. God, did you do anything cringy? Mm, mm. Nothing I can remember. Nothing. Trying to steal Roddy's shoes, that was embarrassing. That he caught you as well, yeah. <laughs> I was... I, I don't know. I, 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 I turned into cigarette bitch. You know, Roddy would sort of like palm a smoke off me every now and then and because it was Roddy, I was like, sure, yeah, I'll make it for you. Yeah, no yeah. worries. Sweet. Yeah. You have people doing that to you one day, though. Maybe. It's a nice thought, isn't it? No, because I'm always going to have tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one of those palmers. Oh, you got a smoke, man. Yeah, I choose for your old pal there. <laughs> so I want to talk about the difficult second album. Was it difficult for you or did it all happen quite easily for you? Quite smooth running? Pretty, I, pretty natural, I think. You know, 
like we wrote we had a I think we had like two months off and we had written a couple of songs prior to that but uh, we had two months off and that's where we kind of wrote the majority of the record and we didn't even think about it it was just like okay let's just write some new songs Uh, I had a few ideas brought them in we wrote some stuff in the rehearsal room and then before we even knew it we had a record done Mm. It, it was really as strange as that we didn't realize we had an album and then our manager was like we should go and record it it's like record what oh a record yeah so yeah it was quite strange but uh even the space for the recording was just because there weren't any tours there and it's like yeah. march is looking all right should we see if we can get support and we all laugh like oh, yeah, yeah that'd be funny wouldn't it and it worked perfectly yeah. Why did you want him in particular? Was it because of his work with Brand New and Taking Back Sunday? Was that did you just think you'd work well together? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're just admirers of his work. I mean, I don't think it's much different to what we thought about working with Dave Erringer. Mm. You know, we loved what he'd done prior to working with us. So, yeah, and, and obvi- also we wanted a different sound, uh, and we knew Mike would capture that sound perfectly, and he did. What sort of producer is he? Is he a taskmaster or is he quite easygoing? He's both. I think he's both. Isn't he? Yeah, just as, as soon as you think you're getting pally with him and <laughs> you know you can make a sort of slightly more intrusive joke than you normally would, he <laughs> kind of switches on you and you just turn into that scared little kid that you were when you got yeah, there on the first day. Cool. We also we had a great guy called Claudius um, engineering for a couple of days on the record. And uh, I remember Mike kind of... He basically, the engineer was there to basically press record uh, for those two days and Mike just sat at the back telling Tom what to do. He was like, do this, do that. And that's when I was like, fucking hell, he is Mike Sapone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So not that it was much different when he was at the controls, but it just seemed a bit more, I don't know, powerful almost <laughs> with just him at the back of the room with us. It's kind of the New York accent as well, though. That rhetorical right after everything, right? You know, like, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Even if you're not really sure, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And it took about three weeks, didn't it, to do that Yeah, part? three weeks, yeah. And it was in Long Island. Yeah. Did you find that a good place to hang out and chill out when you weren't recording? Or mm. It was really quiet. We didn't have much much time to do anything other than really? recording. We sort of, like, got up quite early, drove to Mike's, recorded all day, and then drove home, went to sleep. And uh, we, had the, w- w- and we, we only had three days off. Th- three or two? Two. Th- two. We had two days off in the whole time we were there so there's not an awful lot to do in Bethpage but we went into the city on our second day off the first day we just went to like a local mall and hung out I mean I think I read a funny story that happened in a mall with a guy called Mark <laughs> <laughs> what was that about I wasn't I to a, ma- a mall I know about Mark. <laughs> I, 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 the, the thing that annoys me the most is that we like we can't portray Mark in the light that <laughs> he should be portrayed and like you'll never know what he's like he's insane mm-hmm. the guy That's is insane crazy. crazy I wish we still knew him <laughs> we should have got a phone he doesn't have a phone does he no <laughs> he doesn't have a phone or a house it burnt down apparently right. yeah it burnt yeah. down and he had this beautiful Cadillac that got smashed up by a topless dancer who was on her cell phone and she wasn't looking where she was going no. so he yeah. so he had to drive this Shit box, his words, not mine. That's when we were walking to his car. It's full of old balls and, and cups in the back for I beer don't pong. Know. Oh. Beer he, pong like, for we, one. He said he'd give us a lift to the mall, and then he was like, basically, we got in, and his chair was right up against my knees, and I'm a bit claustrophobic, and like I think his roof was like pr- practically caving in. So I started getting a bit panicky, and he was like, "So, so what do you guys want to do? You want to go party?" I was like. Uh, just like, the mall would be good. Like, like 2 p.m., maybe. 2 in the afternoon. Yeah. He's like, do you want to go to a strip club? Do you want to get some weed? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not the cops. I'm not the cops. <laughs> like, like and really. Yeah, uh, he yeah. did have a shield, yeah. His friend was, was a cop. <laughs> and he said he met Tony Blair in Spain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> to give you an idea for the kind of what, what he looks like, yeah. uh, he looked a little bit like the, the, the guy who played the original Murdoch in the A-Team. Wow. But, but, but less hair know. and uh, yeah a bit like that I remember scarier. getting out of the car and I went into the hotel to ask the receptionist because they knew him because he was staying there for a while yeah. to ask if he was uh, if he was alright yeah. in the head and she I was like is that guy okay and she was like who I was like that guy Mark she was like 
Uh-huh. And it was like, right, I'm getting my boys out of there. <laughs> We're walking. And luckily, it was a really nice day. So I went back to the car and said, I think I want to walk. And... You look kind of gutted. I was, I mean, I was, we were really, I was really genuinely like, curious. Imagine if, imagine if we had like, we wouldn't take a lift off a stranger in the UK. No, it's, it's pure it's, novelty value. His accent, his car, you know. I just, I don't know for a while I thought it'd be all right. But then when Murray came back, I, I thought I started thinking maybe we probably shouldn't be here. Talking about how he had something to do real quick before yeah, he dropped it. us off at yeah. the mall. That was the fear, yeah, like, yeah, oh, I gotta stop, to I gotta stop somewhere stop, real quick before I take you to the mall. Place, which is bur- it's burnt down apparently, but yeah. he still well, wanted to stop there. The thing that worried me as well is that he's the kind of guy, like, if he was to get out of the car when he made the stop, he'd be like, can you drive? Just, just sit in the driver's seat. I'll, I'll be two seconds. And he runs out, drive! That kind of vibe. It could have ended very badly, couldn't it? There could have been no second record. Yeah, because mm. we'd all been dead. That would be so the biggest tragedy. Yeah. Back garden. We had to lie to Mike as well. We told him that we didn't get in the car or anything because he would have kicked our asses. At the <laughs> <car>. <laughs> He's going to see this. Sorry, Mike. We, we got in the car briefly. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I've ruined that for you, haven't I, a bit? Oh, well. You already knew about Mark. The cat's out of the bag. <laughs> yeah. Mark. Mark. We wanted to say thanks in the record to him. Thanks, no, was it no thanks, thanks, but no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> but uh, it didn't make it in there. I think nah. we forgot. Maybe yeah. on a single. Oh, EP. EP, yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Mark. He is kind of the original scatterbrain, isn't he? Like, you yeah. Know, just this fucking maniac. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a good sort of yeah, basis yeah, for right. it. Yeah. I was going to ask where that name come, came from. I thought it might be one of you guys. Are you a bit like... All over the shop. <laughs> well, no, it was like not all the time. I think everyone is at yeah. certain points, you know, when you've got a lot on your mind. But um, it kind of basically we named the song Scatterbrain, and we thought it was a really cool title. We weren't sure if we wanted to use it as a an album title because I don't know. I guess if you write Scatterbrain in quite like a metally way, it looks really cheesy <laughs> and corny and like. Oh, they're new on Scatterbrain. <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah. So it's the way you say it. Yeah, yeah. it is the way you it's say it. So, <laughs> And then once we got back from New York, I remember looking at my lyric book and it was all over the shop and um, it kind of just stuck with us and nothing else really cropped up. Maybe because we're too lazy. We're too lazy to think of anything else. We had a couple of things. But it's natural as well, because we did try and come up with a bunch of other titles, and we kept coming back to Scatterbrain. It was always the... Felt the most natural, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.